Hello guys, um, welcome to the next instalment of my how to use Android um, devices. Um, in my last video lesson I said I was going to just explain to you how to create a Google Mail account through your device. Um, the reason you need to create a Google Mail account is basically Android is run by Google um, so it's, it's very much around what Google are doing at the moment. Um, so they prompt you to create a Google Mail account for a few reasons. Um, mainly one reason is to access the Android market. Um, now the Android market, which is now actually called Google Play, is basically where you can download all your apps, books, music, um, videos, that kind of thing. Um, they actually create a Google Mail account purely for the fact that it gives you uh, an access, access to the Android market and it syncs all your applications that you purchase with your Google Mail account. So for example, if you were to lose your phone and you've, you've paid for a sort of £20 worth of, um, of apps or books or movies or something like that, um, instead of you having to buy them again, um, all you need to do is literally log back in and it will have those purchases on your account so you can just literally download them again. The second good thing about it is it will actually back up any contacts that you put onto your device or your phone. Um, it will actually put put those contacts and sync them with your Google Mail account. So for example, if you were to lose your phone or something like that again, um, all you need to do once you've purchased your new handset or you've got a new one, um, all you need to do is actually sign back in and all your contacts will come back down to your phone. So it's a very handy tool to use. Um, so in this video, I'm going to show you how to create a Google Mail account. Um, again, I'm going to be using my trusty Galaxy Tab purely because it's got a nice big screen, so it should be for you. For you it should be easy for you guys to be able to see what I'm doing. Um, because my device is already set up, um, I'm going to have to create a separate account. Um, so, what you what you guys, if you haven't done this already, the easiest way to get to the, to the stage that I'm going to get to is to basically tap on um, the Android Market, which is that little icon there, um, or on um, slightly newer devices it may be called Google Play because they are rebranding it from Android Market to Google Play um, so it looks like that but it will either be called Android Market or Google Play okay so once you've connect, clicked on that button there um, I'm just going to quickly whiz through to the options to create another one because I've already got one on there um, you should see something similar to to this Okay, so you should see a page that looks like that, um, and it's basically add, asking you to add an account to your to your to your device. Okay, so what we need to do is we need to click on the next button here, and then we've got the option to sign in, create. Now, obviously, you may already have a Google Mail account. If you if you have, that's fantastic. All you need to do is click on the sign in button, input your username, which will be your email address. Um, so, for example, Android at gmail.com. Um, and then your password. So if you can remember your password, pop it in there and then you'll be able to just literally sign in. Job done. Nice and easy. Um, if you haven't got a Google Mail account, you're going to need to click on the create button. Okay, so tap on that one and it's just a case of filling out the form. So you've got first name, last name and username. Um, so literally tap in the first name box and pop your name in. Um, so we'll put hello and last name as YouTube. Okay, um, so our de de desired username will go for something like Hello YouTube, which would give me the email address of Hello YouTube. Oh, spelled it wrong. Hello YouTube at gmail.com. Um, that probably is actually taken, so we'll, we'll 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 find out on the next page. So we've got the first name, second name, and um, Hello YouTube at googlemail.com as our desired username. Okay, so once we've done that, we need to hit done. And then, it then at the bottom you can see a, a little tab appears that says next. So we tap on that one. It's now going to try and create the account for us. Okay, so Hello YouTube isn't isn't currently available. Um, so we've got other, other alternatives. So there's one here. Um, basically, if, if your name isn't, if your desired username isn't available, it will give you alternatives. So you can see there's this little box that's appeared here. So just actually tap on that one and it's giving you other alternatives. It's actually only giving me one alternative. Normally it will give you a few more, so um, we'll just go with this one anyway. So we just tap on that one, so um, it's got the little green dot next to it. So that's the one that we're gonna use. So my, my account will be hello um, hello y53 at googlemail.com. Okay, so once we've done that one, 
and just tap anywhere and just to tap to confirm that that's the one you want and then you want to click on next okay so now it's now asking us for a desired password and um, so this is the password you're going to need to access the account obviously keeps it nice and secure for you um, so I'm just going to make up a password now as you actually put the password in as well it actually tells you if it's a, a poor password or, or if it's a, a good password I'm putting a poor password in purely because um, I don't think I'm, you know, I'm not actually going to be using this account, it's just for a demo purpose. Um, so I'm going to hit done, hopefully it let me have that one, which it has. So once you've hit done, it comes up with this page. So basically, this is like a security question section. So for example, if you were to lose your, your, your phone or, or if you've logged out for some, some error reason, you forgot your, what your password is, um, this is where it will ask you a certain question to, just to verify that it's you. So if you click on security question, you've got the little arrow down here tap on that one it will ask you the, the, the type of question that you that you want okay so we've got favorite food city of birth best childhood friends name and high school name so basically that's 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 up to you to decide which question you want you want your Google account to ask you just to verify that it's you and um, for security and um, so I we'll would just go for favorite food and I'll pop in the answer as um, pizza so again just ne tap next to the answer um, and it will allow you to bring up the keyboard and type in your, your desired answer. Um, secondary email, um, I will just pop an account in. Like I said, anyone who's thinking of spamming this account, um, it will be deleted straight after this YouTube video. So um, there's not much point. Okay, so I've popped in a, I've popped in a, an, an alternative email, which I'm not going to show you. Um, and then all you need to do is hit create at the bottom of the screen. Um, it's now creating um, the account and it's coming up with the Google Terms of Service. Um, so all you literally need to do is tap on your desired language for it. Um, so we'll select that one there, English, and it then brings up the Google Terms of Service. And you can just literally scroll through and have a read through if you want. Um, I'm sure most of you are just going to hit I agree and next. So we'll tap on that one. Um, and it's actually saying that the password before is too weak. So let me just change that again to something more strong. There you go, it's now saying it's a, a strong password. Um, so we'll hit done and next. Create account, English, I agree, next. Right, okay, so when it goes to create the account, it will come up with this, and this is called a capture. Um, this is basically just to make sure that you are human. So um, I know it sounds a bit strange, but you get robots that will try to create Google Mail account for um, for purposes and and um, just to spam you with, with emails, really. Um, so all that's doing is it's verifying that you can actually read what that says. Now, in all honesty, they are a little bit hard to, to actually read, um, but in my experience, I don't think you actually need to get them completely accurate. Um, basically, the idea is is that if it, you were a robot, um, which often create these spam accounts, um, you wouldn't be able to read that text at the top. Um, so just put in it as accurately as you can. Um, I've tried it. I've tried it a few times with it with it spot on and also wrong, and it still lets you do it. So I don't think you have to be a hundred percent accurate of it. You, you, they do give you an allowance for a couple of. Um, wrong wrong letters and um, so once you've typed in typed in that one just hit next um, and it's actually saying I've got that one wrong so just bear with me just take a bit more time working out what it says there you go it's now saying that your phone needs to communicate with Google servers to set up your account um, so now that's now created, it's now giving me the option to sync contacts and sync Gmail. So that's uh, um, basically your emails, uh, your contacts, but you can also have it for calendars as well. So if you do use your, your Gmail calendar or the calendar on the phone, that will sync with your web account on Gmail as well. Um, the important thing to know about this is you don't have to use this as an email address. This is purely just to get the, the phone up and running and so that you can use the features such as Android Market or Google Play. You don't have to use the 
email address and you can use other email addresses if you if you've got it so um, you will need to create a Google Mail account you, unfortunately you don't have the option of that um, it's purely just to use those features um, but if you have got another personal account like Hotmail or something like that you can also add that to the phone so you can receive those emails um, so that pretty much wraps up um, that video lesson um, if you've got any questions by all means leave some comments um, I've noticed a few people subscribing to the channel as well which is pretty cool um, so if you want to continue doing that that will be fantastic and um, in the next video I'll be going through the Android market slash Google Play and how to use that and how to download apps so I'll see you on the next lesson